Um, so I've always grown up in a Christian family and I've always been to church since, you know, as long as I can remember. And I've been to Sunday school and I've heard all the stories, but it was never really that deep and meaningful to me. And I just kept on coming back as it was a thing that I just, was just what I did on a Sunday. Um, what brings me here now is my meetings with the Holy Spirit at you know New Wine and my youth group at Devo. Um, I remember one time at New Wine when Daniel Strickland was speaking at Thirst and it was a really strong story and the worship that followed it, I completely broke down and that was probably the key highlight of me meeting with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit's done so much for me that's made me in this position now. Um, since since accepting Jesus and living living the life that I'm living now, I've grown so much in so much in myself, in my confidence and how I act around other people. Because leading up to this moment of saying I'm going to be a Christian forever now. I've always felt judged or having to live live up to a certain expectation which I just I was never going to meet and since I've made the decision everything's changed for me and I'm ready to give give my life to Jesus and tell everyone that this is who I am. I feel I've been ready for quite a long time but now I'm now I'm most willing to go out and tell everyone. James uh, serves so uh, faithfully in our children's work here on the morning, but he also connects into uh, youth at Woody's and also through his school. Uh, some of his friends have just arrived at the side there to uh, come and get a bit closer to watch as well. Um, and also to Simon, his mentor, who's been uh, quite instrumental in this part of the journey for him too as well. So, James Buckman, you have a firm promise made on your behalf at your own baptism and a truly living faith in Jesus Christ. As a sign of your dying to your own self, I cover you with these waters, rise to live for him.